So I've often been asked, what's the best way to learn Spanish? Well, get ready for a journey into Spanish with Destinos. I'm Luke, and this is Polymathy. Travel back with me to the distant past, 1992, when Annenberg Lerner releases the 52-episode series called Destinos. ¿Cómo quieres pasar tu última noche en Buenos Aires? Quiero que sea inolvidable. Destinos was made by this Annenberg company, the same company that made French in Action. I talked about French in Action in this video, and both video series are similar. They each have 52 half-hour episodes, the idea being you watch one episode a week, then after a year of being consistent, you'll have an excellent grasp of the basics of the language. They're also primarily input-based approaches. Ramon tiene una esposa. Se llama Consuelo. Ramón y Consuelo tienen una hija. Se llama Mari Carmen. They're trying to teach the language in the language, in French, in Spanish, respectively. But Destinos, I think, is actually even better. And if you know French in action, you might be surprised to hear that because how could it possibly be even better? Pedagogically, it builds on what French in action does, especially for what the Spanish language offers. And what does Spanish have to offer? A number of unique accents, dialects, cultures, all associated with the Spanish language. Botones, acompaña al señor Díaz a la 632, por favor. Well, how does Destinos introduce you to so many parts of the Spanish-speaking world at once? Well, the main character has to travel from Mexico to Spain to Argentina to Puerto Rico, and then back to Mexico. Tal vez yo podría ir a Puerto Rico y los dos continuar la búsqueda de Ángel. ¿Quieres decir que irías a Puerto Rico? And as the student, we get to learn about these cultures through the characters, through the story. A story is such a great way to learn another language. Now, the whole video series is available on the Annenberg website. You can watch the videos totally for free. They're all there. And the genre that Destinos uses takes advantage of one of the most famous genres in the Spanish language, which is the telenovela, the television novel, the soap opera. Now, while there are some cheesy elements to this story, which is always great for students because you can enjoy what the creators are doing. For a learner, just starting to learn the language, in some ways, it's much better than a regular telenovela. And not only because the conversational Spanish you hear is simplified and slowed down by these native speakers so that we, the students, can understand and learn more easily, but also the structure of the story. So let me tell you a little bit about the story of Destino so that you actually want to go see it. It starts with Don Fernando Castillo de Saavedra. And he is in Mexico. He's an old man now, but he has a dark secret. And he's just received a letter which clutches in his hand. And he has to tell his family, his children, his adult children, this secret that he's kept his entire life. So he has to call them all and he has to tell them. And this is what will drive the whole story. Now, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that in a second, but first I'm going to tell you about something else you're probably going to need either during or after you watch Destinos. And that's content that's been made in the past 30 years since Destinos. Stuff that's more modern, stuff that will include more natural language, natural Spanish language, something that will give you Spanish language content, also using expressions and idioms that are new, that have occurred in these past 30 years. And that's Lingopie. Lingopie, this video sponsor, gives you access to thousands of hours of content in your target language. Movies, TV shows, cartoons, telenovelas, and in the case of Spanish, from several Spanish-speaking countries. And with this little label, you can actually choose the country of origin. That way, if you're interested in a specific accent, you can study that. Or if you want to get a broader appreciation of the varieties of Spanish, you can do that too. The interface, which is fabulous, lets you have no subtitles, subtitles on the side, Spanish subtitles, dual Spanish and English subtitles, and you can even create flashcards and study lists from the vocabulary. You can also practice speaking and get feedback on your pronunciation. And not just Spanish, but Japanese, Korean, Russian, Portuguese, Italian, German, and French. If you're interested in Lingopie and want to get a 55% discount on an annual subscription, go to the link learn.lingopie.com slash Luke Ranieri. Now, Destinos is just an adorable show. And, you know, I'm not actually into telenovelas, 
But this is so well done that I really appreciate all the characters, the really complex storyline, and the incredible effort that everyone went to to make this production happen. And because this is so readily available to anyone, it's one of the reasons I recommend it so widely. It gives you the full range of vocabulary and grammar and pronunciations of Spanish. Standard European Spanish, standard Mexican Spanish, it's fantastic. So when you watch one of these videos, you can obviously watch at your own pace, just like a telenovela, just like a soap opera. It summarizes what comes before. So, you know, what's your Spanish level? If you're a raw beginner, this is fantastic. It's going to take you through all the beginner to early intermediate stuff. But if you've already had some experience with Spanish, what can you do? Maybe you don't want to watch it at the normal pace because they speak very slowly for beginners. Well, you can change the speed. Right here at the settings, you can change it to half speed if they're speaking too fast, or if it's going too slowly, you can increase the speed. Absolutely vital. The other thing that I strongly recommend is to put on the closed captions. Occasionally, there'll be a few English words in the first few episodes from the narrator. After that, it's just narration, even in Spanish. But the subtitles will give you the actual Spanish language dialogue of what all the characters are saying. Now, in the conversations, even though the actors are trying, for the most part, to speak slowly, to break up their sentences, their phrases, so they're a little bit more staccato, they're a little bit easier to apprehend for a beginner, they usually are recording in the actual living environments. Usted no es la persona que ha ganado el premio especial de la organización de ciegos. Which makes it just a little bit more difficult to hear, a little bit more interesting, a little bit more of a challenge, which is good. So having the subtitles can occasionally be really essential for a beginner. Being able to turn that on and off as you need or as you want is going to be really essential to learn spelling. It's always great to get input and watch the episode a first time just listening. I do recommend that if you want to go through that experience. But if you want to see how it's spelled right away, and if you want to get good at spelling, it will be important to see how Spanish orthography works. I like getting input and just trying my best to understand everything, but I'm also the kind of person who wants to understand every word, every little bit of the pronunciation as best I can, so that's why I also really like and really recommend the subtitles at some point for each episode. I want to give you a light spoiler for episode two. Don't worry, there's so much else in this series that it's not that much of a spoiler. I really want to get you excited about watching this series, so Don Fernando, he gathers his family around and tells them, Tengo un secreto. I have a secret. Well, what is the secret? The secret is that, well, as you know, my children, your mother passed away a long time ago. But of course, you also know that I emigrated here from Spain and I escaped the Spanish Civil War. But what none of you know is that I was married before that war began and that my wife, Rosario, murió. She died in the war. And in the chaos, I left, I moved to Mexico. But in this letter here, I've learned that Rosario, my wife, didn't die in the war. But she thought I died in the war. And what's more, when we were separated, she was pregnant with our child. So you see, my children, my first wife may still be alive. I may have another son or daughter. You all may have another brother or sister and I need your help to find them. Sounds great, right? Are you excited? Go watch it after you see this video. Y Fernando, ¿tiene hijos? Sí, tiene cuatro hijos. Mercedes. And the Destinos website has fantastic exercises, so you can practice your vocabulary and grammar. So if you've never studied Spanish before, I definitely strongly recommend it. Even if you have studied some Spanish before, but you want to go from beginner to intermediate, you want to get more input, this will fill in those gaps for you. The fact that it does take place 30 years ago gives it a lot of charm, and you can really tell that the creators were deeply passionate about creating the best pedagogical experience they could using this medium. It's wonderful to see so much of the Spanish-speaking world, for the characters themselves to learn about the idiosyncrasies of dialect and of vocabulary that exist in the wide and amazing Spanish-speaking world. Todos hablamos español, pero hay tantas variaciones. A esto ustedes le llaman guineo. Nosotros le decimos banana y en España le dicen plátano. Y a lo que nosotros llamamos china, ustedes le llaman naranja. So I present to you this challenge. Starting today, watch the first episode. There are 52 episodes. 52 weeks, that's what I'm going to give you. In 52 weeks, watch all 52 episodes. Watch one a week. You absolutely can watch them faster if you want, if you get really inspired. But hey, from today, you have exactly 52 weeks. Watch all of them. 
And once you finish the whole series, come back to this video y luego escríbeme un comentario en español. Gracias por mirar y gracias también a Lingopai y especialmente a mis seguidores de Patreon. Hasta luego. Also, this...